today our topic is platy helminthes in kingdom animalia unit 1 chapter 2 in zoology phylum platy helminthes is also known as flat worms platy means broad or flat helminth helminth means worm so flat worm like structure is the meaning for platy helminthes and they have drossy ventral flattened body hence it is called flat worms flat worms so you can see the drossy ventral body drossy ventral means so you can see both the sides this is the upper side and the lower side is also you can see so the two sides you can see and it has upper surface and lower surface so that is called drossy ventral flattened body that to flattened body so it is called as flat worms these animals are bilateral symmetry so bilateral means the animal can cut in one plane only so they had shown this plane where the animal can cut into two equal halves it gives only one side if animal is cut in two equal half cut means it gives two equal halves so that type of symmetry is known as bilateral symmetry triploblastic so the animal is that is it is made up of in embryo embryogenic origin it is made up of these three layers outer ectoderm inner endoderm and middle mesoderm so these three layers are present in an um, in uh, flat worms and it is a coelomate there is no body cavity only the digestive cavity is present so that is it shows the organ system level of organization is a coelomate absence of body cavity they show moderate cephalization and unidirectional movement so they have a that is the head the head region is developed develop and they move according and that is unidirectional means single direction of movement only in forward movement they can move they are mostly endoparasite of animals including human beings endoparasite means it leaves inside another animal or human being example tapeworm liver fluke so they are endoparasites endo means leaves inside another animal body hooks and suckers are present in parasitic forms and serves as an organ of attachment so this is a tapeworm you can see the hooks and suckers to attach to the body of another organism because it is an endoparasite the body is non segmented but some exhibit pseudo segmentation so segmented means the body is so like this the segment in the tapeworm you can see segments so here also this in the, but in liver fluke and uh, this uh, uh, that is uh, this planaria there is no segmentation but in ta tapeworm you can see segmentation that is pseudo segmentation that is false segments false segments are formed in tapeworm so that is known as pseudo segmentation and it is one of the uh, evolutionary that next phylum will going to have segments like that some of the parasitic platforms uh, absorb nutrients directly from the host through their body surface so some parasitic that is they won't attach it with the help of suckers or hooks but if they are uh, the, the body surface was attached to the body surface of the host means they absorb the uh, food directly through the body surface however flat worms like liver fluke have an incomplete digestive system so the liver fluke doesn't have complete digestive system so specialized excretory cells are present they are called as flame cells so they are helpful in osmoregulation and excretion this flame cell they can ask in your two marks and in your one mark and as well as in your neat so the special cells present in the 
platforms is flame cell and they are used for osmoregulation and excretion. Sexes are not separate, so they are monoecious. So the both the sex, male and female sex organs, are present in the same animal. It is called monoecious. Fertilization is inver that is internal. So like human beings, here the fertilization is internal, not outside. So the sexes are present in the same body. So the fertilization is internal. And development is having larval stages like Miracidium, Sporocyst, Redia and Cercaria. So Miradium, Sporocyst, Redia. Cercaria. So, these are the developmental larval stages seen in the sexual reproduction. And polyembryony is common in some flatworms like liver fluke. Polyembryony means many uh, embryos are formed at a, say, at a single fertilization. That is called polyembryony and it is seen in liver fluke. Some members like planaria. Shows regeneration, high regeneration means if you cut the planaria into two pieces, the two, it can uh, arise. That is uh, the, from the, the broken piece or the cut piece, a new planaria can be arise. That is called regeneration. So examples are tinea solium, tapeworm, fasciola hepatica, liver fluke, cystomonas, blood fluke. So these are the examples of uh, what is uh, that is uh, uh, flat worms and you can see the planaria liver fluke and tapeworm thank you for watching the video if you have doubts post your doubts in the comment box give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel